Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favorite arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it Which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Karim Benzema. What a great player to have leading the line, Peter. Because his first touch is A-grade. And he's got the physical attributes to keep defenders at bay too. He's not just a workhorse though. He can pass and finish with, with a plum. And is particularly adept at, at bringing teammates into the game. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score. So, no argument there. the way Modric Wilson big, big chance it's Wilson oh he did the hard part right but fluffed the finish it didn't quite come off on this occasion but it only needs a gentle tweak Daniel Carvajal, Casemiro, Alaba, that's the throw, Longstaff, Almiron, Almiron, Wilson shoots, cleared without complication. And here's Murphy. Willock. Longstaff. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. That's a real shame, Peter, because it was beautifully worked. Took the defence out of the picture, but he'll be in no hurry to watch the replay. And it's Richie. And here's Murphy, and here's Wilson. Almiron! Goal! Newcastle! Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Daniel Carvajal. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. 
And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Modric. Played out to the right. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Ritchie. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Courtois will lay claim to that. Alaba, and it's played forward. Alaba. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Just brushed off the ball there. Willock. Going for goal! And the ball's come out! Father Hell gets good distance on it. Willock. Richie. And out to safety. Goes for goal! Lacking in accuracy. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. Across the field it goes. Daniel Carvajal. And it's Bale. Isco goes looking. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, good interception. Almiron. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And we hit half time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It was very, very tight. Reflections on the first half. Newcastle deserve to be ahead and probably should be in front by more considering the amount of chances they've managed. Everything points to more of the same second half and a good solid win. Newcastle leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments and it's 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Benzema is flagged offside. Real Madrid making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Jacob Murphy clips one through. Marcelo. Modric. Longstaff. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. And it's Benzema. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Alaba. Modric. We can get that clear. And it's been taken straight back. Lascelles. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Goes for goal! No! 
mistake. And there's the goal they've been looking for. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Newcastle take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Alaba. Keeper sends it forward. Real Madrid have it back and they can go again. Lascelles passes it forward. Isco. Jacob Murphy floats one over. Marcelo. to get it forward quickly Benzema lobs it in gently Marcelo has a look and plays it in it is a corner good chance Federico Fernandez tries to clear Very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Cher. Cher plays it forward. Time to deliver. That is terrific skill. for a goal kick Final checks on the touchline a change about to occur yeah he's run himself into the ground hasn't he and it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time Real Madrid and that is that Newcastle have won it as much industry as inspiration Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Newcastle will be...